We said, all right, that's enough of that. Let's, let's take a look at some specific organizations that have earned reputations as good places to work and did a pretty wide sweeping search. You know, we looked at the, you know, year, about the last seven or eight years worth of the 100 best list. We looked at, you know, the, the rankings that Glassdoor does and some other folks did some surveys with, within Sherm itself and, you know, also spent time with, you know, inside specific companies. Wound up with a dozen companies that we call the contented cows. Are they perfect? No. They don't claim to be. But each in their own way has, has demonstrated pretty clearly over a significant period of time that they do some things really well in the employment arena. And we also tried to, to look for organizations across the broad spectrum of, of commerce. We got some from the, from the food world. We got some from high tech, some from healthcare, hospitality. And then we took a, a real hard look at their financial statements over a 10 year period, generally from 2000 to 2010. Although for, for their stock, we looked at 2001 to 2011 since that was the, the fresher information was available. Now, I've got 30 some slides of pretty complex financial data all racked up and ready to go. Who wants to see it? <laughs> Francis Group is smarter than you said they were. All right, let's do, the, let's do the microwave version, okay? This is one and only slide. Over the 10-year period that we, that we did the comparison, the average stock return for these companies was 10.7%, whereas the average S&P 500 company was 0.7%. The wealth premium that they generated for, for shareholders in aggregate over a 10-year period with $700 billion relative to the average S&P 500 company. A couple decades at that rate, you've got yourself a stimulus package. Every one of the companies beat the S&P 500. During the course of the 10-year period, the average growth rate, annual growth rate for each of these, for these companies is 23.4%, which is a lot higher. Bear in mind, there were two big recessions during this this time frame. So they were growing faster, making more money, creating more wealth, gener generating you know, a lot more sustainable jobs. Game, set, match. As my old boss at FedEx, Jim Barksdale, used to say, motivated people move faster. 